is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Mid-Level Media Channel, your hub for everything physical media and entertainment. I am Ken. Today, guys, we are here to cover uh, the Screen Factory, Shout Factory June announcements. This is a special uh, physical media news video because I did the physical media report yesterday and I didn't get to talk about the Screen Factory, Shout Factory announcements because they came in too late. I was already in the editing process. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to make a special video to talk about these today because there was some interesting stuff that was announced and I do have some stuff to say about it. So this is just going to be a special report video. But before we get into it, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. We talk about physical media here on this channel. So if you like that kind of stuff, hit the subscribe button. And then, yeah, let me know your thoughts on these announcements. We've got four new 4Ks here. I don't feel like, I feel like Screen Factory has been um, they've been holding back on the 4K action this year. I feel like they they started the year off with like pretty much just Blu-ray collector's editions, and they've slowly been working their way back um, up to 4K. Now they're in what seems to be full-on re-release mode uh, for some of their titles. But yeah, let me know what you think of these titles. But uh, I'm not going to waste any time, guys. Let's, let's get into it. Uh, let me bring up the screen. What am I doing? Here we go. Let me make that a little bit bigger. I've got the uh, Screen Factory, Shop Factory website right here. Let me let me make it a little bit bigger. And yeah, as you can see, we've got RoboCop 2 uh, coming to 4K. We've got Species 2 coming to 4K. We've got RoboCop, the remake, coming to 4K. And um, on another screen, we have Matinee, which is also coming to 4K, starring John Goodman. But we'll get into that here in a second. But... Guys, let me, uh, I gave you the overview. Let's let's do the deep dive in every single one of these, starting with RoboCop 2. And uh, yeah, RoboCop 2 does have a Blu-ray release from Shout Factory, Screen Factory. I do have it right here. I have it playing back there on the TV. And I got this one, I feel like fairly recently, probably within the last couple of years in a, in a sale. I grew up with this movie. I love this movie. I probably watched this one more than I watched the original when I was a kid, to be honest. Um, so yeah, this is a really fun RoboCop movie and absolutely deserving um, of a 4K. Now, I know the first thing that's that's going to be disappointing to people or the first thing that they're going to think about is, damn, this would have been an awesome Aero Video 4K to put right next to my chunky box RoboCop 4K edition. It would have been so nice to have it in the same line. But I don't know, guys. I guess, you know, Screen Factor was never able to get the original RoboCop. They did do two and three back in the day. And Arrow Video scooped in and grabbed the original RoboCop. And then Screen Factory said, you know what? We're not letting go of, of RoboCop 2. We're keeping that and we're putting that out on 4K. And that happens, guys. Sometimes you have the, you know, the franchise splits into multiple boutique labels and you just have to put it together that way. So it is disappointing to not have that big box set treatment uh, for RoboCop 2 for sure. But let, let's dig into this. This comes out in June, like I said. Um, these are also available to pre-order on Amazon right now. Currently, they actually became available to pre-order on Amazon before Shop Factory, Screen Factory even announced them. Whoever is in charge of, you know, doing the announcements and the release coverage, like they suck over at Screen Factory because how can you let Amazon ruin your announcements? Like Vinegar Syndrome would never do something like that. Aero Video would never do something like that. Cr Criterion would never do something like that. They're always the first ones to announce their releases, but it seems like with Screen Factory, they don't care. You know, you got, uh, yeah, I think it's, uh, what's the what's the place? Um, God, I'm trying to, Bull Moose. They usually leak this stuff like days before Screen Factory even announces it. But today, Amazon put all this stuff up, images of the actual releases on the Amazon website before Screen Factory, Shout Factory even got the chance um, to announce these releases. But now they're up on the website. We do have special packages to look at. So let's start with RoboCop 2. I'm trying to check the dates um, when this comes out. If we can't find it here, I'm pretty sure I can find it on the actual announcement page on Blu-ray.com. Uh, June 18th, RoboCop 2 is supposed to come out on June the 18th. And this is, of course, getting a 4K Blu-ray. This is a two disc set, so I imagine you're going to have the Blu-ray disc and you're also going to have the 4K disc uh, kind of scrolling through the specs and stuff. And I don't know if they're announcing any of the special. Well, it looks like they have some special features here. Uh, audio commentaries. you got the making of RoboCop 2. 
um, featuring new and vintage interviews with director Irvin Kirshner. Um, so yeah, that, that's cool. I'm looking at the back of this right now and trying to see new corporate wars, the making of RoboCop two. Um, so it says featuring new and vintage interviews, but I guess it was just new for this release when it came out. Um, so I don't think that any of these features are new. I feel like all these features were available on this past release right here. So really the only thing new, it looks like you're getting, um, is that new 4k scan from the original camera negative. And it of course has Dolby vision and HDR 10. So yeah, you got the classic poster art right there, RoboCop 2. So that's definitely nice for sure. Um, to have that, that class. That's a really nice artwork though. That is really nice artwork. I don't remember that being the original poster, but I guess it is because that's usually the role with screen factory. They're going to put the original posters on there. Um, but that's pretty cool. I, I like that image and I think that looks really good, uh, with that 4k banner. So right here, this is package number one available on the screen factory website. You have the 4k with the poster. And a lot of times guys, if you pre-order off the website, you will end up getting this in like a week, maybe two weeks early um, as well. So let me back out and go back and check out some of the other packages because, of course, Screen Factory, they got to do their packages, right? And this one right here, if I can get into this, um, it looks like it has additional uh, newly commissioned artwork. So you, you have a new poster, you have a new slip cover, and it looks like you have a little prism sticker. Is that what they call this? And I'm going to be honest, um, I do shell out for these extra slip covers sometimes. And I really don't know why, because they're not giving you an extra 4K case with RoboCop on 4K. You're just getting the extra slip cover. So what, what happens is, is I get both slip covers and I'm like, what do I put on the 4K? I can't ever decide, but I want the extra cover art just in case I want to switch it or to just have them both. Um, and I do love this movie. So I might be uh, shelling out. Uh, for this uh, extra artwork right here, $44.98 for that. And um, yeah, look, as I, I'm actually kind of really excited for this. I really am. Like, I do love RoboCop 2, and I think this movie's going to look fantastic on 4K, 100%. So yeah, I'll probably end up pre-ordering this. I don't feel like I have to rush to pre-order this, though. I don't think it's going to sell out, but I mean, I could be wrong, but I feel like this will be in stock for for quite some time. Um, but yeah, that's the first package. And then we've got the ultimate package right here. Um, and it does suck. We're not getting some kind of, uh, some kind of a steel book. Um, because if you bought the steel book from arrow video of RoboCop, which I believe, yeah, they had a 4k steel book. Um, then you could have matched that with the 4k steel book from screen factor. They would have been different companies, but at least the packaging, what it kind of went together. But with this one, you do have the two posters, the original, uh, artwork, and then you got the newly commissioned artwork, and then you got uh, the two slip covers. You got the prism sticker, and looks like you got the pins. So this has RoboCop 2 Collector's Edition exclusive slip cover plus two exclusive posters plus prism sticker, bumper sticker. All right, so it looks like the bumper sticker, the final image isn't there yet, plus lobby cards, and then the enamel pin set. Um, and it usually will show the pins. It's not, it doesn't look like it's showing the pins. You should get, you get the, look, that's a big selling point for me. If I'm going to get the pins, I want to see what the damn pins look like. Okay. Uh, but it doesn't look like uh, you can see them. But of course, guys, if you're going to get pins and lobby cards and a bumper sticker, it's got to cost 105 more dollars for that. Jesus Christ. 105 more dollars. This is 149 105 more dollars to get uh, pens, lobby cards, and a bumper sticker. Are you freaking kidding me? Like, this should be no more than 70 or maybe 80. I mean, these pens have got to be, like, super freaking expensive or something to make. I, I just don't get it. I don't get how pens increases the price that much. But, I mean, look, cool. If you're a huge RoboCop fan and you want all the fixings, you know, get yourself some pens. But if I'm going to get this, I'm probably going to get that that double slipcover package uh, for sure. But look, RoboCop 2, that's a cool release. Um, but let's let's skip over Species 2. I'll get back to that one. Let's talk about RoboCop the remake is getting a 4K. And when I first saw this, I kind of just let out a very, very loud chuckle. I'm like, I cannot believe that Screen Factory is doing the remake 
on 4K. Um, but to be honest, I have honestly, guys, I've never seen the remake. I've got it right here. Uh, this is a Dollar General Blu-ray that I found for $4.95. And I've never seen it. I'd never even opened it. I had no desire to ever really watch it. But I was like, you know what? Someday maybe I'll check it out. Um, so I bought it uh, for $4.95. And uh, as, am I going to get this 4K? Probably not. But it is interesting that they are doing the remake, especially when you consider, guys, they're doing RoboCop 2 on 4K. But what's missing here? They're not doing RoboCop 3. Where is RoboCop 3? How could you drop the ball that freaking bad? How are they not doing RoboCop 3 on 4K? How are they not doing special special packages with RoboCop 2 and RoboCop 3 together in a special package? They could have done a bundle of all three RoboCops with new artwork and, and, all, and the pens and all that kind of stuff. I don't get why RoboCop 3 is not included here. It just seems very awkward and weird to have RoboCop 2 as much as I love it. And look, RoboCop 2 is way better than RoboCop 3. RoboCop 3 is not the greatest movie, but it is a part of the franchise, and it did come out in the 90s kind of in that same area, era, so it feels like it fits, right? Whereas RoboCop the remake is completely its its own thing. It doesn't even exist in that universe to me. Um, but to be fair, I haven't seen it. I've heard from some people it's, it's pretty decent, but how could you do RoboCop 2 on 4K and not get the third one? Do, maybe they lost the rights, but how do you lose the rights? Because I looked on the back, it's MGM and it's Orion, and the new RoboCop is MGM, and it's also Columbia Pictures is what it said on the back as well. So maybe Sony owns parts of it as, as well. I'm not exactly sure, but how do you do RoboCop 2 and not do RoboCop 3? Like, it just, like if they do RoboCop 3 in like two months or something, I'm going to be like, what the hell are you all thinking? Because the missed opportunity of the fact they could have been doing all these different packages and stuff and putting this stuff together, like, it just doesn't make any sense why they would just do the second one. And then the remake, like, it's just, it's very strange and weird and awkward to me. Um, but on 4K, you have the remake for $35.99. This is a new 4K remaster from the original uh, Digital Intermediates. Okay. And you have a 4K remastered on the Blu-ray as well. And you have some deleted scenes. You have RoboCop engineered for the 21st century, a three-part documentary on the reimagining of RoboCop. Um, I imagine maybe you'll get some additional special features here. Let me look at the back of this. Um, I'm trying to see if they have that special feature on here as well. RoboCop engineered for the 21st century. Yeah, so they have that three-part documentary on this on this Blu-ray that I have. So that's nothing new. So maybe they'll announce some new special features for this. I mean, the movie's not that old. Um, you know, I, I, th I think Michael Keaton is in this movie. I know Joel Kin Kinnaman is in this movie as well. Yeah, I need to check this out at some point. Um, but I'm Gary Oldman's also. I mean, it's a great cast. But I am, from what I hear, it's a misguided uh, you know, remake that doesn't really match the tone and the point of what that first film was. Um, but yeah, are you excited for the RoboCop remake? Let me know in the comments section below. Let's back it up and let's talk about Species 2. Now, look, I just said it, you know, RoboCop, I, I want all those, you know, it, because it's part of the franchise. I want the third one, even though the third one's not the best. To be honest, though, with the Species franchise, the first one's not the best. I feel like Species 2 is actually better than the first one, at least from what I can remember. Maybe it isn't, but I'm, I'm kind of happy we're getting Species 2 because I have the first one on 4K, and so I want to keep going. Let's do all of them on 4K, and let's, let's make it a part of the collection. And this artwork is great. I love the artwork for Species 2. I still got this one on DVD, actually. Um... But yeah, cool that they're doing the second uh, species on 4K. I don't remember the first one being the best 4K though, if I'm if I'm being honest. And scrolling down, I'm not seeing any new special features or anything like that. So maybe they'll yeah, it says final extras and specs will be confirmed at a later date. So it's just Screen Factory is just all over the place, guys. Because I I went over this last time when we talked about the Screen Factory announcements for May, I think, with Killer Clowns and, and Orphan and all that stuff. And a lot of those had special features announced, you know, they didn't because Screen Factory kind of made it a thing for a while 
that they wouldn't release the extras until like a month before it was released. And now they're starting to do them. Sometimes they'll, they'll let you know what they are. And then sometimes they won't. They're just so back and forth. Whereas like Arrow video criterion vinegar syndrome, I hate to keep bringing them up, but Kino Lover, when they announced stuff, they let you know up front, what is included in this uh, set. Uh, so you can make an informed decision on whether or not you want to purchase it or not. Screen factory does not always do that. They say, extras will be announced later and they're just counting on you to buy it anyway because it's a movie you love and maybe when they announce the extras it'll be like a, a trailer or something and it won't be anything significant but by that point you're not even thinking about uh the special features you're like well i already pre-ordered it so it's already on its way and i think that's what they're counting on because this this happened to me once with the evil dead 2013 remake and i was so freaking pissed about it um i just ordered it because i loved the movie they didn't announce any special features. I assume they would, but no, it came and there were no special features, no special features at all on that release. And not only that, that's one of the few Screen Factory 4Ks that didn't have a Blu-ray, only a 4K. Both cuts were on there, both cuts, but only a Blu-ray. So I don't want, I don't like this shady business of Screen Factory not announcing everything up front. I just don't. Sorry, I'm going off on several tangents and rants with this video, guys. Um, but I've got a lot to say about these. Really, But look, I'm excited for Species 2 somewhat. I'm excited to continue the franchise in 4K, um, I guess is what I'm saying. And somebody let me know, am I crazy? But I feel like I remember the second one being better uh, than the first one. But let me know your thoughts on on species two in the comment section. Let's let's switch screens real quick because I couldn't find this one on the uh, screen where I was at. But let's go to let's talk about matinee with John Goodman. Uh, this is a Joe Dante film, and this is a movie, guys. I'm going to be honest. I have not seen matinee, and um, I'm kind of really excited about this because I don't have it in the collection, and this will be a first time. I might just pre-order this one with uh, with uh, RoboCop two to be honest off the site so I can get them at the same time. Um, well, I didn't even go over the dates guys. Again, let me, let me go back over here to this website. Matinee comes out on June the 25th. So it comes out. I feel like I would still maybe cause they come out close together. Maybe I get them both in the same package. Um, not exactly sure. Sometimes they'll group them together and sometimes they won't, but matinee comes out June the 25th species two comes out June the 11th. Um, and we've got uh, RoboCop. The remake comes out June the 18th. So that comes out the same day as RoboCop two. But back to matinee, um, the extras in progress and will be, be confirmed at a later date. Now, I did see on Instagram that Justin Beam is actually who does a ton of special features for a lot of these companies. He is working on the special features for matinee. So when he's working on it, usually, you know, it's going to be something significant. Uh, so that's cool because he did the, all the JFK features and there were tons of features on that. So when and, and I think he did natural born killers, too. So when you know he's involved you know you're going to get something substantial. But I I think that Matinee has a Blu-ray release from Screen Factory, so I guess maybe they didn't um, have any special features on that original release, and now they're adding some for the first time. Um, but you do get a poster with this and, you know, all the fixings, and I like the artwork on this, and I'm a big John Goodman fan. So more John Goodman on 4K is always a good thing, in my opinion. And this looks like a super cool movie maybe about working in the theater and maybe they're crossing the, they're, they're blurring the lines between reality and on, on the movie screen or something. I'm not exactly sure what this movie is, um, but it looks really cool. And I want King Ralph on 4k. Where's the Flintstones on 4k. We need more John Goodman um, on 4k, but yeah, it's saying we get, uh, yeah, you get an exclusive poster. It's not showing it, but it is saying that you get one. And it looks like with species two, you let me go back here real quick, guys. I'm all over the place, I know, but species two, it looks like you don't get the poster. And uh, let's let's check out Robocop real quick. I'm not seeing a poster for Robocop either, so it's, it looks like you're only getting the poster uh, for Matinee and uh, Robocop two. But there you have it, guys. Let me make this a little bit smaller and we'll close things up. That's the announcements for June. There were a couple other things. Uh, that I can note real quick. Slam Dunk uh, was announced on Blu-ray, and then we got a Digimon Adventure a little pack from Shop Factory. Um, but that was nothing significant to, to really talk about for too long. But there you have it, guys. That's the 
announcements from Screen Factory, Shout Factory. What do you think about what do you think about the announcements, guys? What do you, I'm I'm still trying to wrap my mind around not having RoboCop three. Why would you do that? It just doesn't make any sense. It's almost like they're trying to piss people off. Okay, we got RoboCop two and we got the remake. Where the hell is the third one? You all did the third one on Blu-ray. Where is that? What what is with the remake? And then Species two. I don't know, guys. What what is going on here with Screen Factory? It feels like they're struggling a little bit um, in 2024. But look, I'm excited about RoboCop too. I really am. I think that movie's going to be uh, great in 4K, and I do love that movie. And also, Matinee I think is a really cool announcement as well. It's really just the 4K of RoboCop the remake that I probably will sit out. I'll get Species Two at some point, just probably not right away. But let me know what you guys think of the announcements. My very long winded rants and talkings on all these announcements guys i know i go forever i go on a bunch of tangents but i appreciate you guys checking it out like comment subscribe turn on those bell notifications for all future videos and follow me on all my social media accounts those links are down below in the description and we'll see you next time